I may change to a daily fasting schedule and may add in a full day fast once a week. Um, that's called a 6-1 schedule or also called a monk's fast. Um, but the point is, in my mind and the way I'm approaching it, I do anticipate continuing intermittent fasting as a long-term lifestyle. So I'm looking at all the benefits of IF beyond weight loss. I'm looking at it as how do I grow old or grow older and stay young? How do I live my best life as I age? And how do I continue that? And intermittent fasting helps with that and can promote all of that, it promotes longevity. Um, so yeah, so that is how I'm approaching it. Now, there are so many ways to go about it. You can technically not fast, but you want to eat within a certain range. You want to eat what your calorie range is for your maintenance weight. Um, I do this calculation for you guys, but if you ever wanted to kind of figure this out yourselves, you can go to any TDEE calculator on the web, TDEE, which stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure Calculator. Put in your stats and you can put in maintenance and it'll tell you this is how many calories you need to eat over the, the week to maintain your weight. And then you just divide that by however many days you're eating. So that is what's important. Now, if you stop doing that, and you go back to old habits and you overeat and you're not mindful and you do whatever you want to do, then yes, you will gain some of that weight back. And that is with any health protocol. It's not intermittent fasting. It's anything. You get back to your old ways and you're not being mindful, then yes, you're going to gain. You can not do intermittent fasting and be mindful and you can maintain. You can do intermittent fasting, um, eat within a certain range, and also benefit from the just amazing long-term health benefits 